Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we're watching Full Metal Jacket and this one person kept reminding me of that movie. Thank you so much. I hope you're watching this and thank you so much for reminding me. I would have done this movie one day, but I don't know when, but because you kept reminding me, it was only fair that I did it as soon as possible. Shout out to Jerry X Film Reviews. I'm guessing your name is Jerry. Thank you so much for reminding me again and again. And we're finally doing it because of you. So thank you. Okay, so back to the movie. I know it's about um, the Vietnam War, I think. Yes, it's about war and I think it's about Vietnam War. And I've read about the Vietnam War because how could you not? But to say that I know everything about Vietnam War would be wrong. And to say that I remember everything that I've read about the Vietnam War would also be wrong. So with that in mind, I mean, I do remember a few things like the Tunnel Rat situation, which was horrible. And what was it called? Agent Orange? Again, horrible. <sighs> Let's watch the movie. Is it? I think since it's a US movie, I think it would be from the US's perspective of what the war looked like from the American perspective. I'm guessing that's what we would see in this movie. We'll find out. It's a Stanley. Oh, he did The Shining, right? Yes, he did. I don't know anything about war. I've read a lot, but I still don't know enough. So please forgive me. I'm going to ask a lot of stupid questions, probably. <sighs> Sorry. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. You are puke. You are the lowest form of life on earth. But the more you hate me, the more you will learn. I am hard, but I am fair. Here you are all equally worthless. And my orders are to weed out all non-hackers. Private Snowball, do you like that name? Uh, yes, sir! Well, there's one thing that you won't like, Private Snowball. Is this me? Who said that? Was it you, you scroungy little fuck, huh? Sir, no, sir! You little piece of shit! Sir, I said it, sir! Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <laughs> You had best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and check down your neck! Sir, yes, sir! Bullshit! You didn't convince me! Let me see your real war face! Ah! You don't scare me! Work on it! It looks to me like the best part of you ran down to crack your mama's ass and ended up as a brown stain on the mattress! I think you've been cheated! And your parents have any children that oh live? Oh my god, sir, yes, stop. Sir. How about they regret oh. that? You like that disgusting grin off your face? Sir, yes, sir. Well, any fucking time, I'm gonna give you three seconds. That's exactly so three me. fucking seconds. Oh, three! Sir, I can't help it, sir. Oh, shit, get on your knees, choke yourself. Huh? Are you through grinning? Sir, yes, sir! Or I will definitely fuck you up! Sir, yes, sir! When he started speaking, I was gonna say that I wouldn't last a day. I'm gonna say I wouldn't last a minute. Mama and Papa were laying in bed! Mama rolled over, this is what she said. Up in the morning to the rising sun! Up in the morning to the rising sun! I know the... um... Training. I know Ho Chi Minh. I know the training is really gruesome, but the singing part sounds fun. Is there something dark about that too? Other than the lyrics? Ooh. What side was that, 
Private Pile? Sir, left side, sir! Are you sure, Private Pile? Sir, yes, sir! What side was that, Private Pile? I would be so scared to even move my finger. It's like, what if I do it wrong? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, poor guy. Like, don't just punish you, they embarrass you. You're married to this piece, this weapon of iron and wood. Move! This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My rifle and myself are defenders of my country. Addy! Are these M14s? Because I know the Americans used M14s in the beginning, but the Vietnamese were using... The Viet Minh were using um, AK-47, so the Americans quickly made M16s. I don't know anything about guns, so are these M14s? This reminds me I need to watch Band of Brothers. Hurry up, get up there! Uh, I'm a joker, are you a killer? Say yes, sir! Oh, I'm so scared of this guy. Get your fat ass up there, pile! Say yes, What the hell is the matter with you anyway? Oh, pile. One for the Commandant! Oh, would he be able to do these? his name Lawrence I see it um, they made this character that we feel empathy for I guess most of us in that situation would be like him if you put me there I would be like that I wouldn't be able to do all those strenuous tasks I want that head so sanitary and squared away that the Virgin Mary herself would be proud to go in there and take a dump sir, yes, sir. you make me want to vomit you goddamn communist heathen, you had best sound off that you love the Virgin Mary! Sir! Try to stop her before you die, sir! I would <sighs> stop all your fire! Private Joker is promoted to squad leader! He'll teach you everything! He'll teach you how to pee! Sir, yes sir! They speak in all caps. <sighs> the guide. The left one. Or the right. Come on, come on, come on. Had a boy. Just throw it over. Just throw it over. Don't throw yourself over. Alright. There you go. You got a nice squad leader. Up, 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 up. Where are these weapons away? You will hesitate at the moment of truth. You will not kill. Do you maggots understand? Sir, yes, sir! Grin is back. One, two, three, four, United States Marine Corps! One, two, three, four, I love the Marine Corps! Mmm, good! Mmm, good! Feels good! Feels good! Feels good! Grandma! Well, now! Let's just see if there's anything missing! Oh, my God. Holy Jesus! What, what is, is that? that? Jelly donuts, sir! A uh, jelly donut? You are a disgusting fat body, Private Pile! Sir, yes, sir! Private um. Pile has dishonored himself. Whenever Private Pile fucks up, I will not punish him. I will punish all of you! Oh no, they're gonna hate him. Three, two, one! 
Oh my god, they're gonna hit him. I feel so bad for him. He just... You really look like shit today, Lennon. Even you. Nobody hates you, Lennon. I hope so. I hope nobody hates him. I need help. He's trying his best to help, to help you. Trying to help you, I'm really trying. Two, three, three, one, two, three, one. What did he do? Why are they getting punished? No. Someone gonna attack Lawrence? Are they all in on it? What? Things are not turning out for him the way I hoped they would. What do we do for a living, ladies? Kill, kill, kill! I still can't hear you! Charles Whitman killed 12 people from a 28-story observation tower at the University of Texas. Anybody know who Lee Harvey Oswald was? Private Snowball. He was 250 feet away and shooting at a moving target. Do any of you people know where these individuals learned how to shoot? In the Marine! I didn't know that. You will all be able to do the same thing! Are you gonna excel in the rifle thing? Happy birthday to you! Are they doing that to him every night? Or did they just do it once? God! has a hard-on for Marines, because we kill. God was here before the Marine Corps. Beautiful. It's really Leonard talks to his rifle. I think Leonard's a Section 8. What's section eight? Is it really good or really bad? Standing private pile, I think we finally found something that you do well. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I knew it. You slimy scumbag, get on your face and give me 25. What's your fifth general order? Sir, the private fifth general order is to quit my post. Only when popular relief, sir. Private Powell, you are definitely born again hard. I just want my M14. Yeah. I just want my M14. M14. Graduation is only a few days away. The Marine Corps wants killers. You people are no longer maggots. Today, you are Marines. Your post of you will go to Vietnam. Some of you will not come back. Basic military journalism. You gotta be shitting me, Joker. All 300 infantry, you made it. Perkins. Sir, yes, sir. He's angry. I mean, the training is so grueling. They definitely would hate him. For having to do all that extra stuff because of his mistakes and they just had a moment where they wanted to take their anger out on the person responsible for you know why they're angry and I mean they can't complain but uh, but obviously it was wrong. I just, I don't know, man. 
Whoa. It looks scary. Are those live rounds? Full metal jacket. Oh. We'll both be in a world of shit. Right shoulder! Lock and load! Get back in your bunks! What is this Mickey Mouse shit? Private file has a full magazine. It is locked and loaded, sir! And you listen good. He doesn't look like he's gonna listen to you. Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? Okay, now you've gone too far. You're supposed to prove yourself, not do all of this, dude. Oh, uh, no. I mean, oh, no. Why would you play that song now? That makes me want to sing. Let me be sad. Something you call love, but confess. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all hey, over you. you. Feel like spending some of your hard earned money? And you Just keep thinking that you. I thought we were gonna follow Lawrence throughout the movie, but that's over now, so what? Yeah. I don't recognize these people with hair. We're supposed to be helping them and they shit all over us every chance they get. I hate the name, Joker. I want to go out into the field. Joker, yeah. I want to get out to the shit. I want to get some trigger time. There's a rumor going around that the Ted Sea's fire is going to be canceled. Rear echelon paranoia. He looks good with hair. If we move Vietnamese, they are evacuees. If they come to us to be evacuated, they are refugees. The kill, Joker, the kill. I mean, all that fire, the grunts must have hit something. Didn't see him. No, you must have seen blood trails. Drag marks. It was raining, sir. And in case you didn't know it, this is not a particularly popular war. Now, it is our job. Joker, I've had my ass in the grass. Can't say I liked it much. Passing the grass in the rear with the gear. They like to rhyme. Joker's so tough, he eat the boogers out of a dead man's nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you weren't on Operation Hastings Payback. You weren't even in country. Eat shit! Incoming. Oh shit. Those bombs, fireworks. That ain't not going. That ain't not going. Rifles. Okay, things are getting serious now. We're in the middle of the war. I ain't ready for this shit. Amen. I don't think they are. Is that it? That is, that is scary. To launch an offensive all over the country. Oh. So far, we've had it pretty easy here. The United States Embassy has been overrun by suicide squads. Oh, shit. It's a huge shit sandwich and we're all gonna have to take a bite. You will take off that damn button. How's it gonna look if you get killed wearing a peace symbol? Vanish, Joker, most Ricky Tick, and take Rafter Man with you. He said we we're following him, we're following this guy. It was never about Lawrence, it was about him. Okay. Oh. Get some! Uh, get some! Come on! Come on! Oh, don't, don't puke here. 
What is he shooting at? Get oh, up, oh, get up, come on, come on. Get up, come on. Get some, get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys ought to do a story about me sometime. I've done got me 157 dead loops killed. Any women or children? Most of them. Sometimes. Ain't war hell. <laughs> Why did Lawrence kill that guy, the guy who was training them? I mean, yeah, he was hard on them, but that was his job. But, uh, well... I, I guess I know, but... One? No, sir, we're reporters from Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes? Yes, sir. Well, if you beat this game looking for a story, this is your lucky day. We got condition red. About the NBA executing a lot of goop civilians. That's affirmative. I saw some buddies about a half a click. Here's the canal. Born to kill. Don't show me the body of anybody. Just please. I know this is a war movie, but. Oh my god. The dead have been covered with lime. Do you know how it happened, sir? Well, it seems the NBA came in with a list of gook names and asked them to report the next day for political re-education. Everybody turned up got shot. Oh, God. Some they buried alive. <sighs> born to kill, sir. That's very... You write born to kill on your helmet and you wear a peace button. What's that supposed to be, some kind of sick joke? The duality of man, the Jungian thing, sir. Whose side are you on, son? I'm going to have to read up. Yeah. More. I'm gonna have to read up everything about the Vietnam War again because I do remember stuff. I do know all the basics. I know why the war started and everything, but I feel like I need to just go back and educate myself again. Holy shit. Oh, it's that guy. The guy who's five foot nine. This is my bro Joker from the island, and this is Rafter Man. Rafter Man. You a photographer? You're a real comedian. That's why they call him Joker. Well, they call me the Joker. <laughs> now, you might not believe it, but under fire, Animal Mother's one of the finest human beings in the world. Animal Mother. You want to take a good picture? Yeah, man. He's gonna do something not very nice. This is my bro. Is this person dead? <laughs> this is his party. The day I came to Way City and fought one million NVA gooks. We are jolly green giants walking the earth with guns. After we rotate back to the world, we're gonna miss not having anyone around us we're shooting. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my god. Delta 6 actual. This is Murphy. Over. Check the wheel. I want the third team up this road here. First and second fire team behind me up this other road, okay? Are many of these soldiers gonna die or are they gonna kill a lot of people? I think Private Joker, he won't die because he's sort of narrating the story so you need to be alive to be telling the story
Oh no, he's gonna die. Oh! Dude, you're too exposed. I went everybody's head about the bed. Okay, he did not die. The way that thing was shot from behind him, this area, this everything, it just looked like for a second that he was gonna die. I really thought we were gonna see these war situations and we would see Lawrence doing a really good job with the rifles and he did get into the infantry and then everybody was gonna be his friend and hey, is this me? Hey, start the camera. This is Vietnam, the movie. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about him later. The music in this movie is really, the songs that they use are really cheerful. Uh, they distract you from all of this for moments every now and then. Semper Fi. We're mean marines, sir. Better you than me. Oh, that was cold. You think we waste scoops for freedom? This is a slaughter. He's jerking off ten times a day. It's no shit. Instant sectioning. So, uh, they send us in first squad. Make sure that there are no Vietnamese waiting for the B-40 rockets to blow the tanks away, so we clear it out. There's the enemy. Kill him. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, we're the best. There are footages like that that I can watch online, I guess. It's sort of like they took away our freedom and gave it to the to the gookers, you know. I hate Vietnam. There's not one horse in this whole country. They don't have one horse in Vietnam. Really? I wanted to meet interesting and stimulating people of an ancient culture and kill them. That's a weird thing to say with the peace button. Your chief, fifteen dollars each. No, number ten. Sao không chịu? Nằm buồn quá. Thôi chịu đã đi có gì đâu hả? Yeah, D. Hey, we need a bat in order. I'm going first. I'm back off, white man. Don't get between the dog and his meat. Intelligence passed the word down that during the night the NVA had pulled out of our area. This is not the kind of movie that I thought it was. It is not exactly about, it's, I mean, it's about the war, but it's more of a behind the scenes kind of movie. What's happening when they're not fighting, first how they train, and then... It's more about the soldiers than the war. He ain't gonna make it. Murph, this is Cowboy. Craze is hit. You're in charge. Continue on with the patrol and call in at the next check. He's dead. Just look at this situation. It sucks for everybody. Everybody who used to live there. These guys. The guys on the other side. It just sucks for everybody. I hate that. I think we war. made a mistake at the last checkpoint. Ugh, war is hell. We're here? Yeah. We should be here? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think we should change direction. We're changing direction. What are we lost? Joker, shut the fuck up. Hey, Ball's gonna go over there and see can he find a way through? They all gonna die. It's the less action in this movie that is making my heart beat so much faster because it's usually very quiet and then somebody would suddenly die out of nowhere and then it's just off. Oh, just... 
Okay, at least this time we saw it coming. Oh, my God. Nobody fire till I tell you. Oh, my God. No, no. Believe possible strong enemy forces occupying buildings in front of us. Request immediate tank support. I'll see what I can do is not very uh, reaffirming, I reassuring. I think there may be strong enemy forces in those buildings over there. Oh my god, this poor guy's getting shot. We'll get him when the tank comes up. He's hit three fucking times. He can't wait that long. <laughs> Dude, you're not actually hitting the sniper. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Save fire! You can't see the sniper! Save the ammo! The ammo. Nobody yes. fires till I tell you! I mean, I'm not a... I've never been in that situation. I can't really tell them to do anything. I mean, I shouldn't be commenting on what they should or should not do. Because I don't know. Can't afford to wait for the tank. I think they're gonna hit us any minute. There's only one fucking sniper out there. Back off, mother. <laughs> Fuck you, cowboy. No, he's gonna die too. He doesn't need protection to get there. He needs protection there from the sniper. And these guys know that too. Where's the sniper? Shit! Be careful, be careful. Fuck! No dose, Stutton, Donlin, Rock. You come with me, we'll take a look. Sniper, sir. So dangerous, it's just one person causing so much trouble for them. What building is the sniper in? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's where he is. He's gonna hit you. No? Murphy, this is cowboy over. Is he gonna hit him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, oh son of a bitch! He's going home. Oh, he's going home. He's going home. I can help. They showed us the camera angle when he came to talk on the radio. They showed us that it was clearly visible through that big hole. But I thought they showed us that angle so that we can see that somebody from here can shoot there while still being covered. But then they showed us the sniper. Let's go and get some payback. <sighs> yeah, you were born to kill. Come on. Okay. Throw some smoke. Is that some music playing or is that some noise? It's what? What an idiot. I think it's just creepy music for the movie. I, I think it's gonna be Joker who's gonna kill that guy, and if not him, then that animal mother person. I think it's gonna be him. Yes. Oh, sh oh. oh, that's a female.
It's him. She killed three people. Nothing we can do for her. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let her rot. Can't just leave her here. You're fresh out of friends. I'm running the squad now. If you want to waste her, go on. Waster. Yeah, shoot her. You can't leave her like this. I feel like when it comes to soldiers in a war, no matter which side, nobody's good or bad. <laughs> Joke. Fucking hardcore. We have nailed our names in the pages of history. Enough for today. M I C K E Y M O U S E Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. M I C K E Y M O U S E. I'm in a world of shit. Yes, but I am alive. You're seeing about Mickey Mouse. M O U S E. This, that's gonna stick in my head now. M I C K. Oh, that's your boyfriend. Oh, I love this song. Wait, is it the end of the movie? The songs that they played throughout the movie. Just, I had so many things I wanted to say in the middle of a lot of the scenes, but I couldn't because then something else would start and I wanted to watch the movie. So I didn't want to, didn't want to talk too much about what just happened so I wouldn't miss what was happening then. But, oh, where do we start? The very, very first scene, the very first scene where this um, general, the guy who trained them, their squad, I'm sorry, I'm not using correct terms, I know, but the guy who trained them, when he started speaking, and then he kept speaking, so many things were going on in my head, and the one thing that, I kept repeating to myself was I wouldn't survive in that environment. I wouldn't be able to. And that reminds me of Lawrence, of how he was grinning, how he was smiling. And he was, he felt really innocent, you know. And he looked like he was really, trying and he was being bullied in the training which is how i think which is how these trainings go they're very grueling every army military anything it's always strict whenever you hear any stories the training part is always very your officers are always insulting you and punishing you for everything and all of that and he, he was being embarrassed a lot and then when he said um, the others are going to get punished for the mistakes he made I just yeah everybody was going to hate him after that but he was you know when he was talking to um, what was his name Joker when he was talking to him about how everybody hates him 
and he was saying, I'm trying. He was, if I remember it correctly, he was still smiling. And then they do that to him, which I guess would, for, if you put me in that situation where the training is already so tough and then this one guy keeps messing up and because of him, I'm the one who has to do 20 extra push-ups. I don't know, maybe more than 20. I don't know how many. I'm pretty sure a lot more than 20. You know, because of him, I have to do extra physical work for an hour. I would be mad too. I would be really mad. And I would really want to complain and take out that anger somewhere. But then if you look at look at this from Lawrence's perspective, then he was really trying his best to just, you know, to do his best. But he kept messing up and he wasn't doing it on purpose. And then when the rifle thing starts, you just know that he's going to be very good. And then he was very good. And then I thought that, okay... He found his niche and now he's gonna be really good at this thing and he's gonna prove himself and he's gonna be like really important in the war. I really thought this was like a war, war movie in the middle of like not very different. And yeah, I thought he was gonna prove himself to be very useful and all of that and I'm just gonna make end up making being friends with all those people who were with him in the training oh it did not end well I really thought the movie was gonna be about him after I don't know 15 20 minutes half an hour I thought the movie was gonna be about him and then that oh, and he started getting really serious and as like I knew he was mad. But then he looked so scary when he was sitting in that bathroom and he was looking at the general and he was he he just he just looked so scary. And he, his face was so innocent in the beginning and he was, he looked so evil at the end. And that really, it was so heartbreaking. <sighs> and the entire movie, it was really about the soldiers and what it's like to be there for them and because we were following joker and he was in journalism and he was at this place where they said it wasn't being attacked as much as compared to the other places other stations or i know i'm not using the right terms but so because of that and then he goes to the other place because of that we kind of got to see all the different sides of it, of how it's like in the quiet places where not too much action is happening and what it's like in the places that are a little more tense and just everything in between. It was more of a behind the scenes kind of thing. I keep repeating that, but I think that makes sense. Some scenes where they were laughing and all of that. I don't know if I was supposed to laugh with them. All I kept thinking was they are in such a horrible situation, in such a horrible place. Like, not the country is bad, but the war thing. They're in the middle of war and it sucks for everybody. And yeah, I mean, it's, ugh. Soldiers, soldiers. Every single movie that I've seen about war and soldiers, 
and of that not just US movies but from many other countries I've seen a lot of different movies and it's just always like they are traumatized by the wars that they've been in in real life the things that they see on the battlefield and it's from person to person i guess it's it, it depends if they're good or not but from soldier to soldier i guess there is no good and bad the people who are making these wars happening are good and bad but i don't know maybe the soldiers are bad too depends on the situation i guess don't take any single thing that i say out of the whole paragraph of things that i'm saying and you know just, just don't i don't know i do know a few things about the vietnamese war like um i know the guy ho chi min um he had read the american constitution or something like that and he thought if it ever came to this if america was ever going to be involved in the war they were going to be on their side because they wanted freedom and america would fight for freedom so he was really sad disappointed heartbroken i don't know something about the whole situation when he found out that america had joined france and i do need to read up on agent orange again i think it was something about destroying the crops and everything so they wouldn't have anything to eat and the whole tunnel thing that the viet vietnam viet men i don't know vietnamese soldiers the whole tunnel system that they built how it was dangerous for the americans to get in there they were called tunnel rats the guys who would go in there to kill the soldiers in the tunnel or something like that but it was also very dangerous for the ch- soldiers living in the tunnel the vietnamese soldiers because of the poisonous snakes and spiders and centipedes and then if it rained a bit the tunnels could flood and multiple other things and they would set booby traps for the tunnel rats the american soldiers who would go in the tunnels for you know to kill them they would set booby traps for them it was all really um i don't want to say interesting because it's kind of horrifying because all these things actually happened it's not fiction but it was interesting and yeah i'm going to i'm going to read up all about that again but this was very different i thought we were going to see war but i was really happy to see that it's very different from a lot of other war movies that i've seen i've seen a few one or two movies like this too where it's about the soldiers more about the soldiers than the war and yeah okay, you just it's it's beautiful in a very sad way when that scene came that one guy was wrapping his soap in the towel i knew it was for Lawrence and I thought oh my god that is awful somebody's going to kill Lawrence with a goddamn bar of soap you know I I don't know I think they were going to bash his head or something I don't know I thought it was just going to be one person and um Joker he he was looking around because he heard someone moving around and i thought he was maybe going to protect lawrence and then all of them came and then the s- slow realization that they were all going to beat him up 
still felt like they were going to kill him. But it makes sense that they did not. They were going to be in a lot of trouble if they actually killed him, I think. But yeah, they would have been in a lot of trouble if they actually killed him. But it was horrible. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I was like, yeah, it makes sense. They're pissed. When the movie ended, I said, like, what, not even 10 minutes ago, when the movie ended, I said that Mickey Mouse song was going to be stuck in my head. And as I started talking about the movie, I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten the song. It's only been like, what? 17 minutes? Something like that. This was a really good movie. And I don't know how long it would have taken me to watch this if I did that on my own. I would have watched it, but because I was going to make a video, it would have, I don't know when I would have done that. So, Jerry, thank you for that again. And I hope this video wasn't disappointing for you and and for everybody else too. I hope you had fun, fun. And if you liked this video, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell and I'll see you soon.